more often than not, the two terms volume and capacity are used interchangeably, but they are different. Let's see how. So imagine that you have a soft drink can and we know that a soft drink can is made up of a metallic sheet and a metallic sheet has no thickness. It's completely sheet, sheet like. Okay. Now it has no thickness and you have to assume that the can has a perfectly circular top surface and a perfectly circular base. That makes this can, the soft, uh, this soft drink can a cylindrical shaped can. Okay. So if someone asks you that what will be its volume, you will say that the radius is R, the height of this can is H. Let's calculate the volume and it will be V is equal to pi R squared H. Let's say in this case, it is 700 ml milliliter. Okay. So the volume of this can is 700 milliliter. Now, if this can is filled with this soft drink, and it is filled up to the level of which has height from its base the height is h1 okay now since this soft drink this liquid is filled in this cylindrical shaped can therefore this liquid will take the shape of a cylinder in which it has been stored now since this liquid itself is now a cylindrical shape, therefore we can calculate its volume. And what will be volume? Volume will be given by, let's say it's V1, it will be pi. Radius of this cylindrical shaped liquid is going to be the same, that is R. So R squared, but height is different, H1. Let's say that this value is 500 ml. That is, within this can, which has the volume of total volume of 700 milliliter 500 milliliter of soft drink is stored okay so tell me from between these two which tells you the capacity of this cylinder 500 ml or 700 ml well 500 ml is not the capacity it is the liquid stored in this uh, can what's the capacity Capacity is 700 ml, that is the total cap volume of this uh, cylindrical shaped can. So, let's say that this is a beaker, okay, its top surface is not present, it's open. So, if someone asks you that what is the capacity of this beaker, that is what volume of air, of gas or liquid it can store, the capacity means what volume of any substance, it can be gas, it can be any liquid, it can be air, what capacity it can store. Then at that time, you will say that its capacity is actually equal to its volume in this case. Its volume in this case. Hang on, we have more to talk on this. We have more to discuss on this. Its capacity is equal to volume and that is equal to pi r squared h. So far, very simple, right? Okay, but in this case, now assume that you have a different kind of can, which is not perfectly cylindrical, but it is now having some thickness and that makes it a hollow cylinder. It, that makes it a hollow cylinder. What does hollow cylinder means? We have discussed this yesterday, if you remember in our, one of our videos. Since this cylindrical shape can has this thickness, can you see here this thickness? It's a thickness. And this black region that you are that you can see here, it's actually the hollow space. It's not filled, it's empty. In this empty space, we can either store liquid or water or whatever, and by default air is filled in that, right? Gas is filled in that. Since this thickness makes it a hollow cylinder, since this thickness makes it a hollow cylinder, now in, in this case, your capacity, your capacity will not be equal to the volume of this hollow cylinder. Don't get confused, I'll explain you how. 
since um, till here we have seen that capacity is equal to volume when we have no thickness but in this case now we have thickness i'll explain you if you look at this hollow cylinder it has two radius one will be the outer one right you can imagine that if this is thickness then one will be the outer circular surface and one will be the inner circular surface the outer circular surface has a radius of r1 and the inner circular surface has a radius of r2 so the volume of this hollow cylinder will be the volume of this hollow cylinder will be hollow cylinder will be volume of the greater circle that is having radius r1 minus volume of the circle having radius r2 and why because volume tells us that what space does the substance or the material that makes that object occupies okay again the space occupied by the substance or the material from which that particular object is made up of that is what volume so in this case this empty space is not being occupied by this the substance or the material from which this object has been prepared what space it is occupying this solid one that is completely covering in this case right this solid one so therefore when we are talking about the capacity we said that it is equal to volume because this can be completely filled up to this level completely filled to this level it can completely occupy and since it has no thickness whatsoever that is why capacity is equal to volume but in this case the volume of this hollow cylinder is actually the volume of the outer uh, surface minus volume of this uh, uh, inner uh, cylinder it has two cylinders one is the outer one and one is the inner one right so from here if you calculate it comes out as pi r1 squared h height will remain the same minus pi r2 squared h from here you can take out pi h common it is r1 squared minus r2 squared this is the volume of this hollow cylinder and this is this thickness one that is the space occupied by the material or object from which this sorry material or substance from which this uh, object has uh, has been prepared now now if someone asks you then what is the capacity in this case if it is not equal to the volume of this hollow cylinder well again remember this a uh, hollow cylinder has two cylinders one is the outer one and one is the inner one you can calculate the capacity if you calculate the volume of this small cylinder that is within right which is empty which will store the air the gas or liquid whatsoever okay that will be the capacity therefore the capacity in this case will be pi r2 squared h that is the volume of the this smaller cylinder volume of this smaller cylinder having the radius r2 this will be the capacity in this case so now you can understand it you understood the difference between uh, the volume and capacity sometimes it means the same like in this but not always okay last thing let's quickly talk about the units one milliliter is equal to one centimeter cubed remember this now one liter is equal to thousand ml that is 10 raised to the power of three milliliter therefore from this relation you can calculate that if one ml is equal to one centimeter cube and one liter is equal to thousand ml we can say that one liter is equal to thousand centimeter cube okay that is 10 raised to the power of three centimeter cube or cubic centimeter now one cubic meter is equal to thousand liter one cubic meter is equal to thousand liter liter and since one liter is equal to thousand ml therefore you can calculate this that one meter cubed will be equal to 10 raised to the power of six ml how so one liter one liter is equal to thousand ml therefore thousand liter will be equal to thousand multiplied by thousand ml that is 10 
raised power of 3 multiplied by 10 raised to the power of 3 milliliter that is 10 raised to the power of 6 milliliter right now 1 ml is equal to 1 centimeter cube so 1 ml is equal to 1 centimeter cube therefore 10 raised to the power of 6 ml will be equal to 1 multiplied by 10 raised to the power of 6 centimeter cube that is 10 raised to the power of 6 centimeter cubed that is what we have here we have used simply we have used unitary method one of the best method to calculate the values unitary method okay so this is a unit that we'll use very frequently milliliter centimeter cubed liter and one meter cubed and all